The best way to understand the provisions of the United States Constitution is by elaborating its most fundamental underlying principle. There are limits to government's authority. In the Declaration of Independence, Jefferson had concisely articulated Locke's theory of the social contract. Government's legitimate purpose is to secure individuals in their natural rights and is otherwise limited in its authority. However, the experience of the colonists with British authority had taught them that it is not sufficient to simply trust government to limit itself. They thoroughly subscribed to the axiom best articulated by Lord Acton a few years later that power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Therefore, in making a constitution, deliberate steps must be taken to impose constraints on the power of government. The act of actually writing a constitution was a significant step in that direction. The English Constitution was not a written document. Rather, it was a collection of documents such as the Magna Carta, the English Bill of Rights, and various acts of Parliament, as well as the customs and usage consistent with the common law tradition. The Americans had come to believe that they had a better understanding of the English Constitution than the English themselves had, since from the American perspective the British government had routinely disregarded it. The conflict between the American colonists and the government in London began when, in 1763, the British government began to assert authority over colonial affairs upon the conclusion of the Seven Years' War, or the French and Indian War, as it was known in America. Leading colonial statesmen, most notably the great 18th century lawyer James Otis, had attempted to articulate colonial grievances in terms of their construction of the English Constitution. The Americans eventually concluded, however, that the English Constitution was ineffectual, in large part because it was not a written document, and therefore did not have the desired binding effect on governmental power. The Americans steadfastly believed that a written Constitution was an important means of limiting government's power.